and going after strange flesh. Now it mentioned fornication, and then it mentioned in addition to, and as a conjunction, and going after strange flesh. So not only fornication, but strange flesh. Now if you identify the, the drift of the teaching of Jude, and you pick up in verse 7, Sodom and Gomorrah, Yes. Then fornication and going after strange flesh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Are set for 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 an example. For an example. Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Uh, oh oh wait a minute. See, see. Eternal fire. Yeah. That's not just fire. Yeah. That's fire forever. Glory. Oh, right. This is Bible. Yeah. Why don't they? Why don't they accept it? Because the world does not believe mm -hmm. in God. Obama's supposed to go to church. I don't know what kind of church he could possibly go to. But then again, I do. <laughs> Drop down to verse 10. But they speak evil of those things which they know not. Speak evil of the things they know not. But what they know naturally as groupies and those things they corrupt themselves. And those things they corrupt themselves. Verse 12. These are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Raging waves. Raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness. Forever. Now God is speaking to a Amen. false church Amen. that feasts with you. Call themselves Christian, but are no more Christian than the Satan is. Right. <laughs> so again, brothers and sisters, we've got a job to do. Again, let me, let me close in, in uh, uh, Revelation second chapter. We've got a job to do, Amen. and we cannot get discouraged no matter what comes against us. Amen. And we cannot have any type of bitterness Amen. or strife All right. or jealousy. Amen. We are one in Christ Jesus. If you are born again, you are one in Christ Jesus. All right. God is interested in no complexion, Amen. no color, yes. whether you're tall or short. Yes. Amen. God is interested in your heart. Yes. God made everybody yes. after his image and his likeness. Yes. But the spirit of God has to be indwelling yes. for you to be complete yes. in Christ. And if you be born again, of the water and spirit, uh -huh. then are you Abraham's seed you, and heirs according to the promise. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Right. Revelation 2nd chapter. Verse 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. I have somewhat against you. God is speaking here. Man. And he's speaking to the church. I have somewhat against you or something against you because you left your first love. Amen. Read. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Now there's that word again, remember. Mm -hmm. Again, you can only remember by going back to the scripture yes. and bringing up something that the scripture has taught that possibly you have forgotten. Mm -hmm. Remember what? Therefore from whence thou art fallen. Where you made your mistake. Yes. Homosexual, lesbian, yes. by way of YouTube, you're listening. Yes. Do what? And repent. Repent. Amen. God's hand is extended. Hallelujah. And this message is to shake you out of a situation <laughs> that you've been programmed into. Mm -hmm. You are not comfortable in that lifestyle. You can't never make nobody believe yes, yes. that you are comfortable right. in that lifestyle. Yes. You are ashamed. Yes. And you hang around the people to try to gather a, 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 a acceptance by being around people like you. Mm -hmm. But I don't care if there are thousands in the That's same right, room. All of you are miserable. That's That's right. Right. All right. <laughs> because you made a mistake. Yeah. And you don't have the, the unction mm -hmm. to correct that mistake. Amen. But so long as you have not violated God's principle of physical abuse. Amen. You got a chance. Amen. But any time you let a surgeon's knife. Mm -hmm. cut you and remove organs that God gave you to try to make you something that you are then God will judge you at the judgment yes. Yes. I won't go no farther on that Amen. but I do know this Hallelujah. your temple 
is the temple of God. Hallelujah. And you're not to abuse or defile the temple of God. Amen. For he that defiles the temple of God, him will God destroy. Amen. Amen. All right. Verse 5. Remember, therefore, when thou art fallen, and repent. And do the first work. You've got to go back to the beginning. Amen. Amen. You can't pick up something new. You've yeah. got to go back to the beginning. Teach. What God taught. Hallelujah. Repent and do that first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent. The candlestick means your soul. Yes. yes. God will remove your candlestick or your soul out of this place yes. if you don't repent. And this is what these teachings are all about. Yes. Yes. Try to correct the person before it's eternally yes. and everlasting too late. Amen. It's not out of hate. Thank you, man. It's not a love. Preach, prophet. It's not to be an enemy, Amen. but to show you who the enemy is. Yes. And that is Satan, who's out to destroy your soul. Yes. So again, we've got to go back to the first love. And the first love is the original Holy Scripture, Amen. the teaching of the prophets and the apostles. Thank God for his word today. Amen. 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 Let's go quickly to the test paper. Question one, David killed a man to marry his wife. Why was he forgiven? One word. Question two, King Saul disobeyed God and was rejected. Why? One word. Question three, according to one of the last principles Jesus taught before departing earth was a principle concerning? One word. Question four, what single word David had that King Saul lacked that caused one to be accepted and the other to be rejected? Describing that principle. Mm -hmm. That's the next one word. Question five. Jezebel and Ruth. Name which one was Jew, which one was heathen. Mm -hmm. Now the answer is uh, recap it. Uh, was, was, name one which was Jew, the one which was heathen, or both were heathen. Mark what you think is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Question six. According to the prophet, makeup and the wearing of jewels originated first from what group of people, adopted by what group of people, and passed on to what group of people while in bondage. That's a 30-point bonus. Must be uh, corrected. Correct answer. Question seven. Who was the queen of Judah during Ahab's reign? Book of Kings does not mention. Asheroth, Jezebel, Ishtar. I'm going to catch somebody there. Question eight. When the New Testament church was established, Peter gave two instructions concerning the question given him. What shall we do? Name them. What were the uh, two uh, instructions Peter gave to the New Testament church? Question nine. Who stated God preached the church with his own blood? Question ten. Who stated the new man born again, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness? book of first is the name and the second part of question 10 is the book. Yeah. All right. Question one. David killed a man to marry his wife. Why was he forgiven? One word. Master. Prophet, I don't mean to interrupt. I, I was just wondering I had to be able to. Oh, work. yes. Yeah, your shoes. Okay, thank yes. you, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. One word. No, no, you got his. I have heart. Oh, his heart. Heart. Oh, well, yeah, I can't call that wrong, but that ain't the word I'm looking for. All right, y'all, the words. His character. Yes. Uh, how long? But that's not wrong. Yes. I, I put repentance. Is that wrong? David killed a man to marry his wife. Why was he forgiven? Uh, his character, oh. if you see, is what it says, or in a man. Okay. So that wouldn't be repentance. Okay. That would be his character. In a man would be his character. Okay. Um, 